There are demonic gateways. What are they? The gateways are your mouth, your ear gate, your mouth gate, your eye gate, stuff you watch on television, the videos you play. Can someone watching a wrong movie or something wrong on TV actually have a gateway to the demonic? Oh, absolutely, Sid, because you got to remember the devil will put something on TV so he, he can, he can, he can uh, necessize your mind. And if you can necessize the person's mind and then the person don't have the mind of Christ anymore, now you're more addicted to the stuff on TV than going home and spending time with God. So now I stole your prayer closet. Wow. What, what about so many men, including men and women, including Christians, are now addicted to pornography. It, it, it slipped in so easily. Uh, is, could that be uh, a, a doorway to the demon? Oh, absolutely. The book of Psalm 91 speaks about the four entrapments of the enemy. And one entrapment is the most dangerous one is the young lion. The young lion speaks about the sin that we think we can control, but in the end, if you don't kill it, end up controlling you. So you got 80% 80, 80 of, of people that walk with the Lord, Christians, that are, that are bound to, to pornography because they thought that, hey, I can turn it off anytime I want. I don't have to watch it today. That's what alcoholics say. Well, uh, yes. I can stop anytime, anytime I want. Anytime I want. Yeah. But, but they can't. But they can't because there's a stronghold and there's a demon attached to that stronghold. And if you don't break the legal rights and renounce it, you will never be free. Yeah, are you telling me that you could pray a prayer as strongly as you prayed in my office yesterday, and they could be free? They can be free. I, I prayed for the gentleman in Japan over the phone, and he was manifesting. I mean, stuff was coming out of his man, and he, he, he turned around, and he sent me a letter. He said, thank you, because Yeshua set me free.